It's a bit different walking through uh, the change rooms and the facilities, uh, not as a player anymore, but it's good to be back taking on a uh, defensive sort of coaching role with the AFLW, so it's good to be back and looking forward to getting started. Well, I mean, I played a lot of footy, um, footy from the time I was sort of 13 up to um, sort of 30 when I finished, so I've always had the itch to be a part of football, and once I finished, uh, I sort of spent a couple of years just, we had Matilda three months after I finished, so that was a good transition for me to sort of step away from footy and have other responsibilities to sort of uh, keep my mind off, off football and enjoy the break a little bit, but obviously having football background for so long, I was always keen to get back some way, shape or form, and having the AFLW uh, position sort of open up and obviously being at Fremantle, it was something I was really keen to have a go at. Eric played 177 games for Fremantle, drafted in 2005, he's all Australian squad in 2015, he played in the internationals series in 2010 where Australia beat Ireland in that one, so, uh, so Yarrick's uh, got a couple up on a couple of our players already. He comes down with a wealth of knowledge about how to play the back, back on different things, but more importantly is I think he's going to be an outstanding coach. He, the way he communicates, I think it will resonate uh, with female football. He's a uh, yeah, very caring, understanding wife and fully held to it. In January, so there'll be another little uh, tacky you might have seen her running around uh, tonight. And uh, he's going to be a great addition to our club and uh, a an valuable asset to the team as well. So, welcome, Gary, on board. I, uh, I went down last year actually into the change rooms when um, Freo played at South Freo Oval, and that was probably the main tipping point for wanting to get involved with the program. I saw Trent Cooper down there and spoke to Peter Bell when he was down there as well and got to see the girls um, in their pre-game. So to see, obviously as a spectator, the development of the AFLW program over the last three years and the way it's sort of, you can see how much they've improved so quickly. Um, and then to see how much the girls were enjoying their footy when I went down there for that brief bit of time, I just thought it was a really good opportunity and something I was pretty keen to get involved with. I'm probably pretty raw as far as coaching goes, but I mean the footy background, obviously I've a lot going through the line with the ball and the way it's played, but I've still got a bit to learn as well with the actual coaching and getting to know the girls and sort of creating some life.